Hello, my name is Rachel Coxcoon. I'm Cabinet Member for Climate Change and Forward Planning at Cotswold District Council. We are just about to update the local plan at Cotswold District Council, which many of you will know is a plan that all district councils and planning authorities have to have to set out the vision for development in the area for the future and is a legal requirement that we have an up-to-date plan. Our plan was only adopted in 2018, but after 2019 we committed to updating it for two reasons. Firstly, there have been some changes to national policy that mean a partial update would have been required, but also we are now committed to tackling the climate emergency and have a renewed focus on providing affordable housing. And for all these reasons, the plan now needs a comprehensive but partial update. We've promised to make the local plan green to the core and make sure that climate change is considered in all aspects of the future development of the Cotswolds. So that means we are going to look at things like infrastructure developments to support walking and cycling, how we might site and locate and develop renewable energy to help the district become self-sufficient in green energy and also thinking about the location of new homes and offices in relation to wider services and how people travel around. In the development of any local plan there are two stages of consultation that we're required to do, the first of which is called issues and options and we're about to open that stage now in early February and it will run through until the 20th of March. All Cotswold residents will receive a leaflet like this in the post. This gives you some basic information about the consultation. And on the back, there's a website address for a brand new consultation platform that we've received government funding to establish. If you have a smartphone or another device like an iPad, you can also visit that by using the QR code. Simply scan the code, press the link, and it will take you straight to the consultation website. Before it opens, you can add your email address but once the consultation is live, you'll be able to go straight from there to all of the questions. We really, really need your views. We really, really need to know what the people of the Cotswolds want development to look like in the future. So please get on the website, please con um, contribute to the consultation and please share it widely with your friends and neighbours.